It was previously rumored that Google was going to ditch Qualcomm's processors to develop its own. They've partnered with Samsung to make high-end custom chipsets for future Pixel devices. And it seems we're going to see the first one in the Pixel 6. Subscribe and hit the bell icon to get more tech videos. This information is coming from the guys at 9to5Google. The Pixel 6 is going to come with Google's GS101 processor with the code name Whitechapel. Google co-developed Whitechapel with Samsung Semiconductor Division and it was built on a 5 nanometer fabrication, so it's going to be a high-end chipset. There's some reports that claims references from Google's Whitechapel to Samsung's Exynos. Also, another report from XDA developers claims that Whitechapel is an octa-core processor that adopts a tri-cluster architecture. It's going to use two Cortex A78 prime cores, two Cortex A76 performance cores, and four Cortex A55 power efficiency cores. It's also going to have a tensor processing unit and an integrated security chip with the code name Dauntless, just like the Titan M security chip that's already in current Pixel devices. Whitechapel is also rumored to use an unspecified 20-core ARM Mali GPU. The report from XDA developers also confirmed the similarities between Whitechapel and Samsung's Exynos, especially in areas like software components. But Google is most likely going to replace Samsung's image signal processor and neural processing unit for its own designs. By using its own custom chipset, Google is going to get the same level of control as Apple, so we might get better performing pixels overall. The Pixel 6 project has the codename Slider, and there are two Pixel 6 devices called named Raven and Oreo, which could be the regular Pixel 6 and the 6XL, and we can expect them to launch in the third quarter of 2021. There's no word on the pricing yet, but since it's going to use a high-end processor, then it's going to be a high-end device, so we can expect high-end pricing. Anyway, that's all for me in this video. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one.